Welcome Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. There are always time stamps in the description box if you want to skip ahead. Remember that time is fluid so whenever you're actually viewing this it may represent a past, present, or a future situation for you if it does not resonate. And even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Your energy at the top and there's the bottom. This is general, however, so it can be flipped or reversed. Under the deck here, we do have firm foundation. This it does feel like a work type situation for some of you, okay? Uh, if not that, there could be some kind of like friendship or partnership, you know, like this person's been there for you or you've been there for this person quite a bit. Um, this person also could be like your boss or older than you, okay? <clears throat> Let's get some additional cards here, please, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is to come through? What is the energy here? So, partnerships and alliances is, is you know, kind of like Three of Pentacles. It's like working together, teamwork, collaboration, you know, uh, a good fit, uh, a good match, uh, some type of agreement. But, like, when you think about this, you don't want to let this go. You know, but it's like you're holding really tightly onto this. You also could be a little bit closed off emotionally. Like maybe not expressing to this person how you feel. Uh, this could be a friendship for some of you, okay? Um, somebody could be in another situation, okay? With the, the emperor here. The emperor could sometimes be like a husband, father, okay? Uh, gender irrelevant, my wife, mother, okay? But it's like you're holding back from saying something because you don't want to rock the boat or make things... Uh, Comp more complicated like you're not expressing your emotions whether you want to with this person because it could be a friendship or there's some kind of work barrier or something like you, you're afraid to cross that line with this person because it you know if you, if you tell them your truth like you're desiring to do this you're desiring to kind of come in here and be really honest with this person about how you feel but you don't want to lose this person you could be afraid of pushing them yeah you're afraid of pushing them away uh, you may have felt like you've lost this person in the past, okay? Um, or that you missed a chance with them, all right? Like, you may feel here with this Five of Cups, like, there's something you should have said, should have, would have, could have, if you could go back in time. Maybe I should have set, told them from the start how I felt about them, but I just didn't have the opportunity, or I was nervous about pushing them away, or maybe I didn't have enough to offer at the time, or their situation was too complicated. Five of Cups, missing this person. Yeah, that's your energy there, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Knight of Cups, you know, wanting to come in here, wanting to express love. I think, I think you're planning to do that. I think you kind of come to this point where you feel like, you know, you have to kind of take the lead here and tell this person how you feel. Because you feel like, you know, you don't want to let this go, but you have to be honest. Because you feel like you're going to miss an opportunity with them. Like, if you don't tell them how you feel and what you want, you may not get this opportunity again. You could be a, this could be like a friendship, okay? It could be afraid of pushing this person away. It could be a, a work situation, like a business partner or something. Um, or a client, co-worker, and like that may make things difficult, okay? Somebody here also could be committed to someone else. For some of you, that's not for all of you. Let's look at this person a little bit deeper, though, because I want to know more about them, all right? So, Aries energy here with authority, the emperor. Um, I feel like this person really respects you, okay? I feel like this person really respects you. I think they see you as, you know, somebody who's very... Um, very powerful, you know, protective of, of things that you love and things that you're, you're passionate about. Someone who's very settled, very grounded, all right? Um, this person also may be trying to kind of take control of the situation, okay? Because uh, it kind of feels like they they may somehow, it's like, how do I want to phrase that? It's kind of like they may subconsciously know, okay, that you do want more as well. But they've been kind of hesitant because of the obstacles, because of the challenges. Or they could be a little bit afraid here to kind of speak their truth as well. With the Ace of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with an Earth sign that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. When they think about the situation with you, they think about the, the Ace of Pentacles. They think about that pinnacle that you're holding back, things that you're not saying. They're also thinking about having a new start with you, okay? Like I said, there could be money involved, okay? It could be financial restrictions, could be a work type situation, uh, could be in regards to family, okay? But the Ace of Pentacles would talk about a new beginning. It would talk about, 
you know, a fresh start, a clean slate, you know, can we start over, you know, can we build something here? You know, I have this pinnacle, we could really build a really solid foundation on this, you know, if we work together. Some of them, they may even be like working towards um, having enough to offer you, okay? They watch you. They're curious about you. They want to know what you're hiding. Okay. They want to know what you're holding back. Like I said, it's like this person feels that you're hiding something or, or holding something back from them. They can sense this. They know. Uh, they're curious about your situation and your feelings. They want to know what it is you're not saying. Because like, the, again, Pisces, it could be, you know, it could be reverse for some of you, but you guys are very intuitive people. And so it's like you sent something or they sent something about each other. You know, it's like there's something that's being held back, something that's not said, what's, be, uh, what's behind the words, what this person truly desires. They're curious about that when it comes to you. Would you be willing to take, okay, they're curious, would you accept an offer from them? Would it be enough? You know, would it be a good idea? They have questions. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person, they, they want to ask those questions, okay? They want to seek that truth with you, okay? They could be watching you a little bit. Uh, sometimes you can kind of get like a, I don't, not like a creepy stalker kind of way, but just like a um, investigative kind of energy where like this person's like, I wonder if there's someone else in Pisces energy, maybe Pisces is interested in someone else, you know, am I their type, you know, kind of like going through like your likes on Facebook or um, asking friends and family about you or just trying to kind of ask you questions to figure out who you are. How do you like your coffee? Because they want to know you, okay? They really want to know you and, you know, what you what you want for the future before they make this offer. Yeah, there was a missed opportunity here in the past. This does not feel like a, like a super new situation. It's like regardless if you guys have been working together for like six months or something, they wish they would have asked you out in the beginning. You get what I'm saying? There was a missed opportunity here, and they still are upset about that. Now, you could have been involved with someone else, or they could have. Or there are just too many obstacles or barriers, okay, where this person couldn't express how they felt. And now there's there's too much energy here. Like, you're both really upset about the past, okay? You know, what should have, could have happened, you know? the world this person could, like I said they could be reaching out to you online under the deck three of cups they want to go out with you okay this person's going to ask you out that's that's their plan some of you are getting like ready to kind of feel it's like I kind of feel like this mirroring energy here it's like they sense that you're not telling them how you feel like that there's more there but they don't want to be wrong about it like what if I'm just reading too much into it what if I'm just hoping for this and Pisces doesn't really feel this way what if I mess things up that's the energy here with this person and they want to build a foundation with you okay but there are obstacles there are challenges here okay some of you could be distanced this person may live quite a far away from you okay there could be you know oceans apart counties apart uh it's not easy to get together and be together there's challenges here there's barriers but they do want to build something here they're trying to figure out how they would even make this offer to you it's like they sense there's something here that you're not saying how you feel but you're sensing that about this person as well it's like both of you are holding back because you're both afraid of rejection here you're both afraid of kind of pushing this connection away and losing what you have with each other because neither of you want to let this go uh, but what i see here is this person's wanting to like reach out to you okay they don't want to miss an opportunity again but they need more information this person's not going to make a move towards you until they have enough information okay they want to know how you truly feel um, they may reach out to you online and ask to see you. Can you know? Can we get together? Can we make this work? Can we spend some time together? Would you go out with me? Their walls are a little bit up because it's like they, they're they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of you pushing them away. Uh, they're they want to tell you the truth. They could like say somebody here could be committed. That could be a part of the problem. Taurus energy here, uh, and then we have Gemini energy here with the lovers. But this is about making a choice in love. Okay, making a decision here towards something maybe very divinely guided. Um, they want to spend time with you. They want to talk to you. They feel like their walls can come down a little bit the more you guys are able to communicate and spend time together. There could have been a major lesson here that was learned in the past. You're, it's like you're gearing up to tell them how you feel as well, but you're nervous, okay, because you don't want to mess this up. You don't want to push this person away. They're kind of in the same energy of, I need just a little bit more information about Pisces first. I need just a little bit more information about um, the person who's watching this reading because you know if, if I reach out and I tell them how I feel or if I tell them what my plans are or what I truly want here you know would they even accept it would they take this with me they need to be certain they're afraid of rejection 
So I feel like there's a lot of like, um, I feel like it's kind of like a mutual spying energy. And that, like I say, spying doesn't mean driving by your house or, you know, stalking you on the internet. But there's a lot of ways that you can spy on someone, even just energetically cross-watching tarot readings. Hello, cross-watchers, right? There's a lot of ways you can do that. You can ask the friends and family. You can kind of begin to ask this person questions, you know, because you may not realize that when they're asking you, how do you like your coffee? It's not because they're just curious. Maybe they want to know, you know, if, if they ever had the chance to spend the night with you or, um, be with you or just get to, get to know you on a deeper level. These questions they're asking, they're putting the puzzle together. They're figuring out who you are. They want to know more about you and vice versa. I kind of feel like it's a mutual thing. You both are really curious about each other and like you both need absolute certainty here. So I feel like there's an exchange of questions, conversation coming in between you and this person so that the two of you can kind of like, I just want to say there's like an, an energy of like simplistic questions that have so much meaning behind them. Okay. So this is what I have for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much to those of you who have donated to my channel. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.